sharp as Knight has his next quest. A while back, I said I'd write Mevy about finding more of that metal we discovered in the Reformer's lab. Well, she finally got back to me. Not about the metal, but about Demeke, the one Rainilla was helping escape when she, you know, died. The one who called you your brother? The, her brother, right? Is she alright? As far as I can tell, Mevy said she's been adjusting well to her new life. Didn't say where, specifically, in case the letter got intercepted. But Demeke wants to meet. She's going to be in Shadowfin, in the marshes north of Alton Coromont. Oh, why does she want to meet? No idea, but I was thinking, what if she could give us information on where we can find the reformer? She must know something about where he's hiding, something that could help us track him down. I agreed to meet with her. Will you come with? Of course I'll go with you. Then we're off to the swamps. Wonderful. Try not to catch anything, unless it's fish. How well do you know Demiki again? Well... He doesn't remember much of her. I don't know her. She was the last one Rainilla freed from the Reformer before she died. We were enslaved under the Reformer together. The way she tells it, I was like a brother to her, but I don't remember any of that. Have you thought about getting to know her? It sounds like she's settling in well to her new life. She's found her people, and I've got you. Oh. I could try. I just don't want to disappoint her. How would you disappoint her? I lost my memories years ago. The shark that Demeke knew might be gone for good. His replacement isn't exactly a ray of sunshine. I don't want to hurt her more. She's been through enough. Have you been sh through Shadowfin much before? Before I met you. I used to pass through Stormhold every now and again. As far as cities go, it's not so bad. It's not really before that big. That, no idea. Could be that I hatched in Shadowfin before the Reformers' slavers took me. But, who knows? Do you ever think much about your life before you lost your memory? Not anymore. Don't get <clears> the <throat> point. I used to make up stupid stories about where I came from just to, I don't know, entertain myself, chase off loneliness, Want to guess how many involved me being a slave? None. Not a single one. What were the stories like? My favorite one was something about my parents not wanting to give me up to be a shadow scale. So, we lived on the run from the Dark Brotherhood, trying to track us down and make me one of their assassins. I told you it was stupid. Oh, that's not stupid. That's actually pretty interesting. But how did you lose your memory in this story? Oh, my parents begged some spinner to rewrite my destiny at the cost of our memories of each other. Explains why I woke up in Valenwood, and despite everything, I became a merc anyway. The irony <laughs> and continuity were very important to me at the time. Have you told... have you ever told anyone that before? Have I ever told the fanciful children's tale of my secret imaginary past to anyone else? Come on. And it really is like a children's tale. So, if you enjoyed it, just think about what that says about you. Okay. <laughs> what about Mevi? Have you heard anything else from her lately? I guess our finding her in Windhelm inspired her to pick up Rainilla's work where it left off. Sounds like a lot of work for her to take on alone. Hate to see her make the same mistake Rainilla did. Have you ever thought about helping her? I am helping. We're helping. Killing the reformer, cutting things off at the head. It's the only way I know how to help. And it'll help me sleep at night knowing he's dead. Okay. But what about Federo? Any word on how he's faring in his new life? He wrote a while back, <coughs> plenty of griping, which I expected. Asked if there was anything else he could do to help us, which I did not expect. Even offered to tag along. Can you believe that? Did you respond? No way. Our work is dangerous, and you know what he's like. He'd just get in the way, or killed, or hurt, and then we'd never hear the end of it. <laughs> Better if he just settles into some cushy little life somewhere. Not that it'll stop him complaining. Yeah, he just, he's, he's one of those people. But man, when it comes to like, those little talks about 
things for their past or just about things that the quest that involve the quest in general. I like to imagine they're just sitting on the wagon or on a horse heading to where they need to go for the quest and just talk, uh, ha like having that conversation. Oh, the camp. Dum dum. Kajkuje, and you brought your friend. Good. I know you don't remember being my brother, but what if I could make you remember? What are you talking about? Well, yeah, what do you mean? So, I've been studying Rainilla's notes and learning soul magic from my new tribe. Then Mevi told me what happened in that lab, and poof, inspiration. All we need is a sample of Terranite calx. I've actually traced them to a Daedric ruin nearby. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down. What's this about restoring Shart's memories? How would that work? Sonnevel felt him, right? Sharp was never properly deattuned from the soul magic. His memories still resonate, living collectively inside Terranite Calx. But I'm no longer attuned, and you've never been attuned. See? It's brilliant. And why does it matter that we're not attuned? Because with a piece of Tyranite Calx, we can act as a conduit for Sharp's memories. Oh. There must be something in his past that would help you track down Sondeville. He was so sure Sharp would be his forever. He told Sharp everything. And you're sure this process of returning Sharp's memories will work? Well, no. But that's why we'll test it out first. Just one memory, before his entire lifetime. Mevi said you wanted a sample of Tyranite Calx anyway, right? Yeah. Even if you don't want to do my plan, you'll find some across the water in Broken Tusk. Um, well, let me talk things over with Sharp, and we'll get, get you a sample of the Tyranite Calx from Broken Tusk. Doing this is Sharp's choice completely. But Mevi told me about what happened to Sharp in that abandoned lair. And I wanted to try and help. Also, hello. It's good to see you again under much better circumstances. Yeah, hi. <laughs> Can I ask you some questions first? Sure, anything. What do you want to know? How exactly did you come up with this idea? Mevi had all of Rainilla's notes on what the Reformer was up to. She was going to destroy them. The grief of losing Rainilla. She wasn't thinking straight. I convinced her to leave the notes with me. They're here, if you want to read them. What did you learn from Renilla's work? Horrible things about Tyranite Calx. And that deattunement can be accomplished with soul magic. I'm interested in exploring defensive or preventative applications of soul magic. If such a thing exists. I'm still learning how it all works, exactly. What was Sharp like when you knew him? Well, he hatched under the sign of the thief, if that tells you anything. <laughs> He's sly and stubborn, and his thoughts run a lot deeper than he lets on. I knew Sharp from the moment I hatched. He named me, taught me some gel, and showed me how to fish. You were allowed to fish? Small freedoms keep slaves in line better than total subjugation. But for Sharp, it was his last piece of home. His tribe of fishermen oh. tugs on the end of a line, saying they were still with him. It's the only time I've ever seen him truly at peace. Do you think he'll act differently if he gets his memories back? You know, that is a worry that's been creeping in the back of my mind. Like, how different is he going to be if we get his memories back? Are we who we are only because of what we remember? Or are there some parts of us that can't be stolen? He doesn't seem too different from the sharp I knew. Well, that's good to know. If he's still a big baby when it comes to bad smells, he's practically the same. Oh, yeah, then he hasn't changed much. Um, how have you been adjusting to your new life? My tribal elder knew a tape I said it best. I'm a seed that's finally been allowed to grow. Sharp taught me plenty about survival. Those skills are useful. What I found with my new tribe isn't just surviving, it's actually living. Your new tribe? 
The Three Waters Tribe. Sandeville always said I'd be lost if I ever returned to Black Marsh. But he was wrong. There are others like me and Sharp, either hatched in slavery or with no tribes to return to. We're not lost or alone. We have each other. I want to know how old Sharp was when he was taken from his tribe. Broken Tusk is home to cultists of Molag Bal. And worse, I've heard. Not a problem. Sit tight. <coughs> we'll be back. I get why Mevi didn't put this in her letter, but this is a big thing I've been ambushed with. I didn't think I could get my memories back. Neither I did I. I was going along fine without them. Now I'm getting a whole lifetime back in the span of an afternoon. So are you saying you don't want your memories back? I burned up any hope of finding my forgotten past a long time ago. I decided to move forward, and I haven't stopped since. What if the sharp I was hates the sharp I've become? What if Dimike is only doing this because she misses her Kaj Kujie? Well, she said you're not much different than the one that she knew. But you don't think she wants to help us find the reformer? I guess she probably wants that as much as I do. There's other things for me to consider. Other things I'd remember, less pleasant things like the reformer and the years and years and years under his control. You know, even if there were more bad memories than good ones, I'd want to get back as much as I could. I'm not used to looking at the world that way. You're right. There's no way to value my past when I don't know exactly what I've lost. And if Dimike can shoulder everything that she's been through, then I should be strong enough too. Then let's head to Broken Tusk. We might have to swim a bit to get to Broken Tusk. I don't mind it, but... I know swimming in crocodile-infested marsh water isn't everyone's cup of grief. We'll we'll try and avoid them as best as we can. I think we can. Uh, wait. We need to talk. Oh? Are you a bit hesitant again? I'm just going to say what's on my mind because it's been eating at me the whole trip over. I read through Rainless notes. If we do this, and you're my conduit, you're going to experience my past memories with me, my whole lifetime. Are you concerned about what I'll see? The thought of reliving the memories I have of Sandevel already has me digging my heels in the mud. But you will have to suffer through them too. There's no one else I'd trust more with this, but you need to tell me if it's too much to ask of you. This is the kind of thing friends are for, Sharp. Well, I didn't know that. This friendship thing is still I got new your to back. me. After it's done, I might need some time to process everything. You might look at me different. We won't know until it happens. Different. But I don't want anything to change between us, all right? I understand. So let's go ahead and get this over with. Well, the metal's like, here. Yeah. Close. It's strange. I can almost feel it. It's right here. Be careful with that. Let's get back to Demike. Okay. Demike, we have what You're back. we need. Told you we could handle ourselves. Did you miss us? <laughs> so nice of those cultists to share with you. Oh, yeah, After they're all this, dead. We can destroy what you found and let the pieces sink in the swamp. Let's just hope we can actually follow Rainilla's guidance on this. Okay, so can you explain how this is going to work? If Sharp's mind is a blank scroll and his memories are like ink, touching Tyranite Calx directly would be like upending the bottle. A mess. Ah. You will act as the quill. His memories will flow through you as we transcribe what once was written. So I'll see every memory that Sharp sees? According to Rainilla's notes, it will be as if you are Sharp himself. I'll be channeling the magic. It won't be an easy process, which is why we're starting small. Just one memory, whatever surfaces first, to see if this even works. I would imagine ready? the way she explained it is I'm the, like, it's, she said it was flowing through me to him. I like to imagine that I'm like holding Sharp's hand as I'm touching the shard. 
so that we're both seeing the memory. Remember, it's just a test, a little starter memory. Just one. I wonder when which ready, one it'll be. Of sharp, put your hand to the metal. Oh. Oh, this is Try the. Try your hardest to fight it, Sharp. It will help me ferret out any weaknesses. If I could tear you to pieces right now, you know I would. Sharp as ever. Now, feel the resonance. You should understand what I want you to do without me saying anything at all. It's the bucket, isn't it? Let's make a deal. I bring you the bucket, and then I get to drown you in it. Ha <laughs> ha So what is- what's- what's supposed to happen? Good. And now? Now what? Speak your mind, Sharp. How does it feel, wrapped in the tendrils at my will? Did it hurt to try and resist? Be honest with oh, me. Oh, I should have resisted. You know how I appreciate your candor. Oh, there was no pain. Only a, a nagging thought that you wanted me to grab this bucket. Nagging? How rude. I hope I don't really nag. Did you feel anything else? I need to know if subconscious desires interfere with what I'm issuing as conscious directives. Well, I still want to kill you, so I'm guessing not. I think you're strong enough that you could do that if that's what you really wanted. I haven't perfected the process. You say you want to kill me, and yet I'm still here. For now. But I'll break through again soon. I'll step over your corpse and leave with Demige. Dim. That's right, your sister, of course. That's who I feel. The way she missed you. She wants to make you remember. Just like me. And there's another. Masking your resonance from me. Who are you, I wonder? Whoa, okay. This is actually him. He, oh, what, what? Be reasonable, Sharp. Just give me the bucket. Uh, throw it. <laughs> Sharp, help. He's here. He's oh, no. Oh no! He, oh, Where that's she? right. He Where could. Did she go? He could track it, but I was, I was the one touching it. She was wearing that amulet. I felt your resonance, Sharp. Your resistance, even with your little conduit. Dimike, where is she? She's safe with me. The stars align, so I would find you again. Submit yourself to me, Sharp, and I'll let her go. I'll let all my slaves go. They are going to be let go because we're going to kill you. You are my prize. Find me. I know you can. Submit to me. I know you will. No. Yeah, that's right. Throw that knife. He said he felt my resistance. As soon as I saw him, I tried to resist. And it called him right to us. Ah. Uh. And now he has Demike. She was safe and free, and she just wanted to help us. It's all my fault. You didn't know that would happen, Sharp. Even Demike thought it would be safe. We have to go after her. But that's exactly what he wants. He knows I can find him because it's what I'm best at. If we want to save her, we're playing right into his hands. What do you think we should do? We have to save Demike. We have to find the Reformer, and we can't let him know we're coming. I need time to plan how we're going to do that. But when the day comes, be ready. I'm going to need your help. Of course. When we first met Demike, she said I'd made a promise I would come back and rescue her from the Reformer. I am going to make good on that promise. I just need time. Of course. You just let me know when you're ready. I'll be here. Oh my god. I had that I also had when that thought met, that yeah. um give me uh Demi K meeting Demi K was gonna 
fail completely. Like, something was going to happen with the reformer. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, yeah. Well, we've got one more quest, and that would be for us to find Demi K. Ooh, I want to go back to my home and look at that while I'm talking. Um, find Demi K. Kill the reformer. And, um, hopefully, yeah, get all of, maybe get sh all of Sharp's memories back. Because now I'm kind of worried that, um, we're not going to get all of his memories back. Like, we're going to be right there. We're going to be right there getting his memories back, and then something's going to happen where it's going to be lost. And I think, obviously, he'll be okay with it, but he'll probably want not. He'll have mixed feelings about it, because he seems to have mixed feelings about it right now, too. Alright, letter from Sharp. I dreamed once that I was a river flowing wild across untamed land. I spread, searching for a direction, but every direction was no direction, and I ran dry. That's what it was like searching for who I was. That's why I stopped. Sandoval took so much from me, my home, my family, my free will, through his experiments, my memories. When I cross, pa when I cross paths with you, answers on my past resurfaced. I found, thi I found things flowing through me, things I didn't know I had. I have Federo. We're so different, but we have, but he never tried to change or control me to make me feel the same way he did. I didn't realize it before, but we were friends. I have Demi K. She's not my blood, but we have shared some connection that goes deeper than souls, deeper than memory. I don't remember promising to protect her, but I feel that promise cut deep when I failed. I have my defiance. I have fragments of gel, my mother tongue. I have fishing. Not a memory or a habit, but something stronger. Like the way I feel when I'm near a history, yearning and belonging, calm and chaos. And I have part of me from Sandoval. I dreamed again I was a river, and he dammed me up to keep me, and I ran murky and foul with things that weren't mine, my mistrust, my violent inclinations, my anger I've held for so long. Now I have you. I didn't have that before. I dreamed again that I was a river. I was mountain rapids filled with leaping fish. I was a laughing brook in a green forest. I was a strong and deep current winding through a sunny valley. The earth shaped and guided me, but it never tried to control me. Sandoval didn't reform me. You did. Aww! It's a sweet little letter just thanking me for helping him and doing all this stuff. Oh, that makes me so happy. I'm so glad that I'm helping him, that we're doing this. And I can't wait to continue that next time when we finally finish out his quest. And, again, hopefully get his memories back. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!